Hello, everybody. I've got a book I'm going to read to you today about weather. And after I'm finished reading, we're going to review what the plants need to grow. And we're going to do a game with shapes. So first, I'll start off with our book. It's called All About Weather. What is weather? Step outside. What does the sky look like? What does the air feel like? He says, the sky is blue. She says, the air feels warm. That's weather. Weather changes all the time. It helps you decide how to spend the day. Weather also changes throughout the year. These changes are called seasons. Many places on earth have four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Right now we're in the spring. We've got leaves coming on trees that are blooming. It's getting warmer outside. Spring weather is warm and rainy. It's when flowers start to bloom. Summer weather is hot and sunny. The air becomes cooler during the fall and leaves change color. Winter brings cold air and sometimes snow. Near the middle of the earth, there are only two seasons, rainy and dry. How many seasons happen where you live? In Cincinnati, we have four seasons. Thermometers tell us how hot or cold the air is. Higher numbers are hotter. Lower numbers are colder. That's a thermometer. And that's how people tell us um, what the weather is and how cold or hot it is. So this thermometer tells us that it's about 30 degrees outside. So there's snow on the ground and it looks really cold. This picture shows that it's about 80 degrees. So the sun's out, flowers are blooming. It's hot in that picture. Is the sun shining today? Put on your coolest shades. What is the sun? The sun causes weather on earth. It provides light and warmth. God put the sun just the right distance from the earth. If the earth were any closer to the sun, it would be too hot. And if it was any farther away, our earth would be too cold. He made it just perfect. The sun can make air outside feel hot. Enjoy a sunny day by playing outside. You can ride your bike in the park or cool down at the beach. Is it windy? Quick, catch your hat before it flies away. What is wind? It is windy when the air around us moves. We can't see the wind, but we can feel it. You guys ever see the leaves on the tree moving or um, do you feel your hair get pushed back? That's wind. Is it raining outside? Grab your umbrella. What is rain? Rain is water that falls from the clouds. Rain has a very important job. It provides water plants need to grow. This is kind of a fun fact. A drop of water spends nine days in the, in the sky before falling back to earth. Is there a thunderstorm? Let's move the picnic inside. What is a thunderstorm? If you can hear thunder and see lightning, that's a thunderstorm. Thunderstorms also bring rain and sometimes wind. Thunderstorms form when cold air and warm air meet. Look outside after a thunderstorm. You might see a rainbow. Rainbows form when light shines through the raindrops. See, we've got all the colors of the rainbow here. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Let's get ready for weather. It's a cold, snowy day. Point to what you will need. Cold, snowy day. 
What would you need on a cold, snowy day? You guessed it. You would need a hat and gloves. It says, it's raining. Point to the two items you will need. See, what would you need if it's raining? You guessed it, the umbrella and the rain boots. The weather is sunny and bright. Point to what you would need if it's sunny and bright. You're right, you need some sunglasses. Look at the clothes each person is wearing and use your weather knowledge to decide which season they're in. Spring, summer, winter, or fall. Let's do spring first, we're in spring. Can you see which? Person's wearing a spring outfit. You guessed it. That's spring. What about this one? Yep, he's got a hat and gloves on. Probably winter. What about this one? The leaves are falling. You guessed it. That's fall. And this person, he's putting sunscreen on. He's got his sunglasses. Yep, he's ready for summer. Now you're a weather expert. What's your favorite type of weather? You guys see all these pictures? You guys like it with a little bit of clouds in the sun? Do you like it rainy or windy or really sunny? Or do you like it when it snows or, or there's thunderstorms? This is Miss Kelly's favorite. When it rains and then the sun comes out and there's a rainbow. That weather reminds me of God a lot. I like, I like that weather the best. Okay. Well, I hope you guys got your, your weather wheel in the mail. I've got the air on it already. So today is Wednesday and it is really sunny outside. So I'm gonna put my arrow on the sunny weather and clip it up here just in case my kids aren't sure what the weather is. They can look at our weather wheel and Take a look, see that it's a sunny day. Okay, let's move on to our plant. We've got our plant here. All right, I'm gonna see if you guys can remember. Do you remember what the plant needs to grow? And it's something that's yellow and a circle. It's really hot. You guessed it. Plants need sun. They need sun to grow. Okay, the next thing I've got here, this is something that we read about in our book. Remember, you can't see it, but you can feel it. You're right, plants need air. Okay, can you guys see what this one is? Yep, you're right. This comes from the clouds, it's the rainwater. Plants are gonna need water to grow. And then this one goes at the very bottom. You remember what we put our seeds in? We put our seeds in soil. You're right. Needs dirt to grow. Plants need dirt to grow. Okay, you guys are so smart. You know what, I've got these pictures here. I've got a picture that Graham sent me and a picture that Titus sent me. We were gonna do a um, color sorting game, but since we've only got two, I'm just gonna show you their pictures. Okay, so let's take a look at what Graham's favorite fruit is. Can you see? Anybody guess what he likes? It's yellow. You guessed it, Graham likes bananas. That's beautiful, Graham, that's beautiful. Oh, and I've got a picture from Titus. You guys see what Titus likes? They're purple and red, and they're in the shape of circles. You guessed it, Titus likes grapes. Titus likes grapes, that's beautiful, Titus. Okay, so I've got one last game before we say goodbye. This is a game Mrs. Ewan showed me, and I think it's really clever and I think you're gonna like it. Okay, ready? These are the shapes I sent you in the mail. If you've got them handy, you can sing along with me. Ready? We're gonna play hokey pokey with our shapes. I'm gonna start out with our rectangle. So find your rectangle. You put your rectangle in, you put your rectangle out, you put your rectangle in and you shake it all about. 
you do the hokey pokey and you turn your shape around and that's what it's all about. Next shape. Okay, I'm gonna do triangle. Get your triangle ready. Okay, I've got mine. You put your triangle in, you take your triangle out, you put your triangle in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you spin your shape around and that's what it's all about. Next one. Okay, I've got a circle. I'm gonna do my circle. Get yours ready. I put my circle in, I take my circle out. I put my circle in and I shake it all about. I do the hokey pokey and I turn my shape around and that's what it's all about. Next shape. Okay, this is my last one I'm gonna sing with you. Okay, it's my, it's my square. Okay, ready? Get your square ready. Okay, ready? I put my square in, I put my square out. I put my square in and I shake it all about. I do the hokey pokey and I turn my shape around and that's what it's all about. Okay, good to see you. We'll see you later, bye.